Hey everybody, welcome back to the 80s Slashers YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to continue with the um, little video series of ranking my, you know, Halloween films in the franchise. Um, right now, we're up to number 9. So, if you haven't seen the other videos, you can go back and check, but I'll just tell you right now. So, I, you know, I guess spoiler, but um, yeah, coming at number 12, we had Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Number 11, we had Halloween Resurrection. Number 10, we had Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. So now we're at up to number 9. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're, we're going through these. Um, all of those three films um, that I just listed are films that I, I don't like. I, I did not like them. Number 9 here is one... Um, Overall, I would say I don't like this film. Um, there is things in it that I'm that I do like, um, but this is the last one. After this, pretty much everything else I I kind of like. They all have problems, not all of them. Some of them have problems coming up, but I still like them. So this next film is, is like I said, the the last one that I think would fall under the category of I don't like, but it's not it's not as unanimous as, as the previous three we talked about. Uh, Alright, so let, let's just get right into it and take a look at number 9. Okay, so coming at number 9, we have Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Um, now, if you watched the earlier video, number 10, when I talked about Halloween 6, um, I discussed how this, I, I view this, this, part 4, part 5, and part 6, like, I, I kind of view as, I lump them together as, like, a little trilogy. I said they get kind of worse and worse as, as the little trilogy goes on. Part 6, I really didn't like. Um, part 5 is fine. It, it's not, it, it's not a terrible film. It, it's well made. Um, I just, and there, there's some good, really good moments. You know, Danielle Harris is really good. Um, you know, and, but, and this, this, at this point, this still feels like a Halloween film. Part six felt really weird just because of all like the cult stuff and just all the extra stuff they're trying to put into the, the plot for whatever reason. Th this is like the beginning. Part four kind of set it up and this is where it, the supernatural and there's a lot of linkages that that link parts four and part six together. This is kind of like the the linchpin, I guess, in the, in this little trilogy. Um, but it still feels like a Halloween film. There's some, you know, there, there's some really cool moments. Like I said, like I like her. I like Daniel Harris. She's really good. Like for where, however old she was, she was really good. Um, I I I I just don't like the um. I didn't like the connection. I don't like this whole storyline like that set up in part four it was unnecessary again it's like the beginning where they're just trying to add these extra plot points in for for in my opinion no reason like just yeah if you want to make her a, a new part of the family that that he finds out about um and he wants to kill her fine you know you don't need to do that but fine um but then when you get like the the psychic link between them and she know he knows what she's doing and it just it's too much. It's 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 not necessary. Just have Michael show up and start, start killing people. That's all that's needed in these films. I, we don't ask for much, but um, they they tried to give us more for whatever reason. I I, I don't know. Um, but you know, besides the silly supernatural extra plot points, th th this film's fine. You know, like you still get Michael Myers. Um, Donald Pleasance is always good as Doctor Loomis. Um, and it feels like a Halloween movie, which is the most important thing. It feels like you're, it's taking place in the fall. Um, and there's some good performances, some good kills. Like, the mask is terrible. I don't know why these, these later parts, four, five, six, they're, like, the masks are just, like, look at that. That's terrible. Um, it just, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look scary. It looks fake. And they should have just stuck to one mask. I don't know. Little gripes I have, I guess. But, um... Yeah, like Halloween Five, like I said, I, I don't enjoy it. It's not it's not one I, I sit down and look forward to watching just because of the plot point just kinda drive me crazy. But it's there's nothing offensive. It it's fine. So I feel like if it fits really good at number nine. So that's that's where it is. Uh yeah, alright, so stay tuned. Um next like I said, hopefully next uh, day or so we'll get up um number eight on the rankings. 
um, how, like I don't know if I mentioned this in this video, but I've mentioned in all the other ones. Halloween Ends, the newest video, the newest film in the franchise, is getting released. So as soon as I get a chance to view that, um, I'm going to insert it. Um, is it going to be around number 9, battling with Halloween 5? Or is it going to be a lot higher on the list, battling with some of the other ones? Stay tuned. We'll see. I'll, I'll get an update on that as, as, soon, as, as soon as I'm able to. All right, everybody, that's it. So, uh, yeah, until next time. All right. See ya.